Known as the blind maze, this is a great time save that can shave off around 10 seconds if you do it well. It will take some practice, but it is worth doing once you're consistent. There are two methods, the audible way and the visual way, and we'll be focusing on the visual. It never hurts to have your audio up so you can hear your footsteps and when you drop down, but to use the visual way, I have all my graphic settings turned way down and it helps to have a higher brightness on your monitor. Of course, we aren't gonna jump straight into doing this blind. First, we have to practice. And to do so, we're going to grab the light, go through it first forwards, so we know the idea of the root. Then we'll go through it backwards with the light in order to understand what directions we need to move. And then we can do it blind. Of course, take as many times as you need in any of those roots, just to make sure you have it down. Now, the first thing to know is we're not actually going to be jumping up in this box. We're going to use this step. And something to know about this step while we have the light is there's a small lip right here. And sometimes when you're trying to jump backwards, um, it can interfere with where your head is and it can make it hard jumping over to this box. That's just something that you'll understand once you start running. Now that we're here, we're turning right and then it's kind of a left diagonal, then a right, and then we can be at the door. Going through forwards, you've been doing that quite a bit. So now we can see what it's like backwards. Something to note while you're practice, um, just drop this light here if you don't want to reset checkpoint, uh, and that can give you a, a good step. Okay, so now we can do this backwards. The lineup is to be just kind of in the middle of this hallway and just keep jumping as you hold back. And you'll be able to tell once you're up on the first step. And now I'm gonna to jump to the right, jump backwards, and now we're in to the maze. So it's holding left, and if you hold left too long, you'll end up on this left side, and that's fine. We just hold back and right at the same time. And that will bring us into this hallway. It's not back and right the whole time. I do start holding just back, but once we have the light lineup um, with the blinds method, then you'll see what I'm talking about. This will be a bit of muscle memory and it will be um, a bit of lining up. Now that we're here, we're going to move left and then move back. Once we're here, we can actually turn around and see the door. Something important to note is never move your mouse or your camera if you're on console until you're done. That way you don't get turned around. So now that we've done this backwards with the light, we're going to leave the light behind so it's completely black. And so we're gonna line up with the middle of the hallway and just keep jumping backwards. So it can take some effort to find the lip, but once you're up on it, then you'll be able to tell that you're a little higher up. Once we're here, we can jump to the right, jump back, and you can see the edge here. And so I'm gonna hold left, go back a little bit. And I heard that I jumped down, and so now I'm gonna hold back and right. Once we're back here, you can actually see in the top middle part of my screen, there's a line. And it's a dark gray with a, uh, a bit of a lighter gray with a shorter line on top of it. And this is a good lineup we can use to understand um, as a reference point for if we're still moving or not. And that'll allow us to find the next part of the maze. So if I hold back, and I can tell that I've stopped moving because the line stops moving, I happen to be right over where um, the next part of the maze is. And if you're too far forward, you'll understand as you do practice um, just how long that line should be if you're too far forward and how short it will get once you're back the right uh, distance. Once we're back here, we can go left and then back. And once we're all the way through, we can just turn around and find the door. This takes a lot of practice, but now we're going to do this. Just um, I'm going to show you what it looks like in real time. Just like that.